maybe a year ago, I was contacting this woman. And at first, her and I would pretty much email each other just talking about everyday things, really. Nothing really special. Then she told me that she is an old spirit. What is that? <laughs> and she started to tell me that she has these supernatural powers. So I was thinking, an old spirit, and you can do this supernatural stuff that witches can do and stuff like that. So I asked her, so are you a witch or something? And I believe she told me no. Or she gave me like a beat around the bush answer. Beat around the bush answer. And she was saying something about I believe, I don't know the exact words she used, but she told me as being a Christian, me, that something is really high or powerful, like in my head area or something like that. And she told me that if I wanted to, she could help me open something up in my head area. I don't know if it is the third eye or I don't know exactly what she said, but she was saying with my permission, she can help me open something up. And I am thinking, wait a minute. This has nothing to do with God. I told her no. <laughs> and she was saying, don't be close-minded. You know, there are many other things that you can do that is not evil or something like that. So she pretty much was saying that what she was planning on doing or what she is doing now is not demonic or evil or anything like that but she was trying to open up something within me and she needed my permission to open whatever it was in me if i did not know anything about god if i did not know tiny bits of what some witches do, don't you know that I could have easily gave in to what she was saying and God knows what could have happened to me? Don't you know that there are other people that fall into that trap? Meeting people online or meeting people at school or in other places. Believing in what these witches are saying, saying that, hey, this is harmless, but if I am able to do this for you, you are going to be able to have this power here or have that power there. But when you do stuff like that, you have to know that you are opening yourself up to demons. You are opening yourself up to demons. So how many people are possessed now because they have listened to an undercover witch? If everything is okay with me now as a Christian, why do you have to open anything up within me? 
what would be the point of opening anything up within me if things are okay with me now? If whatever it is within my head is high or whatever else, if everything is okay, why do you need to open up anything within me? Be careful. Be careful of who you speak to. This, this is why it is important to read your Bible. So when witches or demonic people come your way, you can refuse them. You can know what they are about. Stay away from any type of power that is not of God because it is going to hurt you. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.